What's up, guys? Special edition. Unboxed my beers earlier today. Uh, just broke my fast like 30 minutes ago. So now I'm ready for a beer. And I'm going to start. I know my unboxing, I think I said I was going to start with the fishing beer. I changed my mind because during that unboxing, I didn't get to this yet. And I have been missing this since 2016. It was the last time I had this. Now, this was my favorite IPA at the time. I'm, like I said on a couple of my videos, one of the best IPAs I've ever had. Lived in Charlotte. I drink this often. Nota, hop, drop, and roll. I got on Beer Advocate today, and I normally get on Beer Advocate for just about all beers I review, and there's always one or two wise guys. If it's a good beer, if it's like I got a high rating, like in the 90s, like this has a 95, this is world class, um, or outstanding. I think 97 or better is world class, this is outstanding. Once you hit the 90s, it's really good. It's hard to get to the 90s on Beer Advocate. Usually there's one, there's one or two guys that say, I didn't like this, or da, 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 da. it's something... It's always somebody, but not on this. Not one single person said a negative thing about this. A couple of guys gave this a perfect score, five out of five. But it was mostly like 4.5s, which is like, that's like very good. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into this. I am so excited. Shout out to Wayne's Beer Delivery for making this happen for me. He's out in um, Charleston. He's in South Carolina. Yeah, this is okay. Now, now the memories of how floral the notes are, they're, they're taking me back. We're taking trips down memory lane, baby. Oh, man. It's, it's almost like you just got your yard done on a Thursday. Then you woke up early to take the dog out early Friday morning and the scent of that newly chopped grass and especially if you're using good quality grass that's what I'm getting yeah that that those no and it rained that morning so it's newly wet chopped grass not overly piney not pine coney but close oh my goodness I'm so excited 7.2% this is a beer cup winner, World Beer Cup Gold Award, which like I said before, doesn't necessarily mean this is a beer because some beers have that award and I don't know how they got it because they're not that good. All right, guys, cheers. Yeah. It's coming back to me. Yeah. Yeah, this is, wow, this is still amazing. Like right currently, it's been five years, really going on six, because I was in Charlotte right when Trump got elected. So January, January of 2016 is when I moved out there. Immediately fell in love with just about everything they have to offer, but particularly this one. I just get Cascade the most. Citra, Amarillo, Centennial, Warrior, and Chinook. Cascade not in this? Because it should be. This is a West Coast style IPA. You can't do a West Coast style IPA without Cascade. I mean, maybe you can. But the, the West Coast IPAs that I've had, they have Cascade in them. I'm getting the Centennial for sure. The Citra, absolutely. The Chinook, yeah. Amarillo, a little bit. I'm not that familiar with Warrior Hops. But Centennial, I'm familiar. This is still world class, yeah. I will say this. Like I told Wayne earlier. This may not be my favorite anymore because I've grown up a lot. And I was telling them like when I was in my late 20s, I didn't like stouts. Like I tasted oatmeal, uh, Samuel Smith's oatmeal stout when I was 29. And it was like, eh, it was okay. I was a torpedo guy back then. 
But now Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout is one of my favorite beers, like ever. I love I love stouts. I've grown to appreciate them. So with that being said, the bitterness on this, maybe I've just outgrown that. That's my only takeaway from this. As I'm more mature, my taste buds have evolved. I'm a fully grown man now. You know what I mean? I was getting into adulthood when I first tried this. I'm a fully grown man now. So I can I, I like this still, but I don't know, man. I think stouts are becoming my new favorite. They just they just are. Even this past summer, I was drinking stouts all summer long. And that's not even some of the stouts I said they should be better, you know, paired on a Christmas mor evening. Or a Christmas party or Thanksgiving or whatever. New Year's, something like that. But still, most of these styles that I like, I would drink them year-round. Especially Oktoberfest, Mars and Lagers. I'm, I'm getting more into them. So with that being said, I still like this. But I guess you could say I'm slowly but surely getting over the IPA thing. You know? It's been about a 10-year run since I've been into the world of IPAs. So maybe that's what it is. I just, I still like this. Thank you, Wayne, once again. But um, it still can't, six-point resin is still the number one IPA in my life. I haven't found anything to beat that. So until then, i put this in my top 10. But... A little too bitter. You know what I mean? So, all right, guys. Signing off. Cheers.